Ladies, let's talk about the power of a blow job. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about the power of a blow job. No, not about the art of a blow job. There's a lot of videos for that, there's porn for that, so I'm just not gonna discuss the art of a blowjob unless some ladies watching my channel want me to. But today, I wanna talk about the power of a blowjob. In 2016, Melissa Copleton wrote a very interesting article that I've always referred back to. She talks about the power of a blowjob. Now, I understand that a lot of women, including a lot of my friends, just don't like giving blowjobs and I completely understand. When I was younger, I didn't really like giving head and the main reason is, is because I really just didn't know how and I didn't really wanna tell the person I was dating, you know, hey, I need to practice, I wanna practice on you or I'm not very good at it and so I just didn't give blowjobs all the time and to be honest with you, sometimes like I feel like I need to apologize to my, to my ex-husband, my first ex-husband, but I completely understand you know, some women don't like the taste, don't, some women just don't like the act of giving a blowjob. But let's face it, ladies, as cougars, young men expect us to be able to give an excellent blowjob. I'm gonna give you some reasons on why you should give blowjobs. The first reason is, it's a completely selfless act. Now, yes, there are women out there who will say, well, I'm not gonna give a blowjob, but you know what, if he wants to go down on me, that's perfectly fine. You know, there's something empowering about just being completely selfless. I mean, let's face facts. Most of us women, we are not gonna have an orgasm while we're giving a blowjob. And just the fact that we're performing something that men love so much, um, I don't know, it's just kind of empowering to me. The second reason is the act is in itself a kind of like a look what I can do act because basically, we're getting a man aroused. I mean, we're actually giving him an orgasm and a very powerful one at that with our mouths and our hands. I mean, it's kind of like, hey, like check out this magic that I can perform. And you know, once you get really good at it, you know, it really didn't take that long depending on the guy, but it's just a really neat skill to have. You know, it's basically like, hey, look how good I am. The third reason why it's empowering is because it's highly coveted and sought after. The fact that men can't suck their own cocks is probably a good thing. I mean, if they could, they'd probably never leave the house. But the fact that they can't, finding a woman who will give them a blowjob is highly sought after. And just knowing that, just having that skill and you know that it's highly coveted, that's empowering in itself. The fourth reason is it's a skill that you should brag about. I mean, whether you give a amazing phenomenal blow job, a decent blow job, a me mediocre blow job, it doesn't matter. It's still a damn blow job. And unless you're really hurting the guy with your teeth, let's face it, he's going to get off and it's going to be a good blow job. Now, some guys don't like blow jobs. My brother's one of those guys. I get it. But like for 99% of all men, they love blow jobs. I can't tell you how many times I've heard a man say, well, I left my wife because she wouldn't give me head or I left my girlfriend because she wouldn't give me blowjobs. You know, so the fact that men crave it so much is highly empowering. And the last reason why I think it's so powerful is when I'm giving a blowjob, there comes a point where you know the man's about to come and the pressure and the tension builds up and you can actually you know, like feel his, his cock getting bigger, like just getting engorged, and you know that he's about to come. Well, in that moment, you have all the power. You could literally just stop, and then he won't get there or get really mad, or you keep going, and you can give him one of the most pleasurable orgasms he's had. So to me, that's incredibly powerful. And let's face it, if you give a really good blowjob, men are gonna chase you, they will be after you. So those are my reasons for giving a blowjob. And in the wise words of Samantha from Sex in the City, you may be on your knees, but you got them by the balls. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And I promise I will read every single comment. Until next time, happy hunting.